Students, welcome in your tutorials. Friends, today we are going to study chapter 2 of history, India events after 1960, part 1. Introduction. On 15th August 1947, India got independence. India accepted the constitutional framework in 1950, as you know, and become a sovereign democratic nation. The Indian society is multicultural and people of various languages, religions, ethnicities and caste live together. India needed to solve different issues of economic, political and social development. The establishment of planning commission and emphasis on industrialization was a means to achieve the economic development and to eliminate poverty in India. Successful conduct of elections and faith in democratic traditions made it possible for us to achieve the political stability. Let us study in detail about the events of 1960s. In the decade of 1960s, several events occurred which had a huge impact on the political situation in India. The regions of Goa, Deev and Daman were freed from the Portuguese rule and became the parts of Indian Federation. Tension between India and China for the northern border, which had been rising since 1950, culminated in the war of 1962. Sorry, 1962. War was fought in the region of McMahon line. After India became independent, Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru led the country. He was the architect of India's foreign policy. His contribution to the social and economic development of India is Significant. Jawaharlal Nehru passed away in 1964. Lal Bahadur Shastri succeeded and became the next Prime Minister of India. During the tenure of Lal Bahadur Shastri, India and Pakistan went to war over the Kashmir issue in 1965. The Soviet Union tried to mediate between the two countries. Lal Bahadur Shastri gave the slogan Jai Jawan Jai Kisan, with which he highlighted the importance of Indian soldiers and Indian farmers. Lal Bahadur Shastri passed away at Tashkent in 1966. Indira Gandhi became the next Prime Minister of India in 1966. During her tenure, Pakistan's oppressive policy in East Pakistan resulted in a big moment. Then this moment was led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his organization Mukti Bahini. Due to this crisis in East Pakistan, India also affected because millions of refugees came to India. Let's study about the events of 1970s. The 1971 war was between uh, India and Pakistan led to the creation of independent country called Bangladesh as a part of India's policy to uh, use atomic energy for peaceful purposes. India successfully carried out an underground test of an atomic device at Pokhran in Rajasthan in 1974. In 1975, the people of Sikkim voted for joined Indian Republic and Sikkim became a full-fledged state in Indian Federation. The Allahabad High Court gave a verdict in 1974 that Indira Gandhi had misused government machinery during her election campaign. During this period, the situation became more complicated due to the uh, movement led by J. Prakash Narayan. Government declared a state of uh, uh, national emergency on the basis of the constitutional provision relating to uh, emergency. National emergency lasted from 1975 to 1977. On the backdrop of emergency, opposition parties came together. The Congress party led by Indira Gandhi roundly defeated by a newly formed Janta Party. Murarji Desai became the Prime Minister, but under his leadership, Janta Party government could not last longer due to the internal differences. Charan Singh succeeded him, but even his government was a short-lived one. In the next part of this chapter, we shall study about the events of 1980s. 
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब इंडिया बिफोर नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज डिस्क्राइब इंडिया बिफोर नाइनटीन सिक्सटीज आंसर इन 1947 इंडिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस इन 1947 इंडिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस टू इन 1950 द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल फ्रेमवर्क वाज एक्सेप्टेड बाय इंडिया इन 1950 द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल फ्रेमवर्क वाज एक्सेप्टेड बाय इंडिया थ्री दिस मेड इंडिया अ सॉवेरियन डेमोक्रेटिक नेशन दिस मेड इंडिया अ सॉवेरियन डेमोक्रेटिक nation four the indian society is multicultural and people of various languages religions ethnicities and castes live together five this is how india was before 1960s this is how india was before 1960s question 2 which are those major issues india needs to solve which are those major issues india needs to solve answer 1 after independence during the initial period india was facing several issues which became a need to get solved 2 issues of economic political and social development issues of economic political and social development 3 to eliminate poverty in india the establishment of the planning commission and emphasis on industrialization was means to achieve economic development four those are major issues india needs to solve question 3 how india achieved political stability how india achieved political stability answer 1 to achieve political stability india conducted elections one to achieve political stability india conducted elections two successful conduct of elections and faith in democratic traditions made it possible for us to achieve political stability successful conduct of elections and faith in democratic traditions made it possible for us to achieve political stability Three. At the same time, several social reforms, including policies and programs for the weaker sections of the society, were sought to be implemented. At the same time, several social reforms, including policies and programs for the weaker sections of the society, was sought to be implemented. Next question: Describe the various events occurred during 1960s. Describe the various events. Occurred during 1960s. Answer: There are several situations occurred in 1960s. There are several situations occurred in 1960s, which made a massive impact on the political situation in India. Which made a massive impact on the political situation in India. Two, the Portuguese-dominated regions, that is Goa, Dieu, and Daman, got freedom. and became parts of the indian federation the portuguese dominated regions that is goa dieu and daman got freedom and became parts of the indian federation 3 since 1950 the tension was rising between india and china on the northern border culminated in the war between two countries in 1962 4 this war was fought in the region of macmohan line this war was fought in the region of macmohan line next question explain the contribution of pandit jawarlal nehru in development of india explain the contribution of pandit jawarlal nehru in development of india answer 1 pandit jawarlal nehru led the country after the independence of india 2 he was the architect of india's foreign policy he was the architect of india's foreign policy 3 he gave major essential contribution to the social and economic development of india he gave major essential contribution to the social and economic development of india 4 jawarlal nehru 
passed away in 1964. Jawaharlal Nehru passed away in 1964. Next question. Describe events occurred in the Lal Bahadur Shastri's tenure. Describe events occurred in the Lal Bahadur Shastri's tenure. Answer. 1. After Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri succeeded Jawaharlal Nehru and became next Prime Minister of India. After Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri succeeded Jawaharlal Nehru and became next Prime Minister of India. 2. During his tenure, India and Pakistan went to the war over Kashmir issue. During his tenure, India and Pakistan went to the war over the Kashmir issue. 3. The Soviet Union tried to mediate between the two countries. The Soviet Union tried to mediate between the two countries. 4. Jai Jawan Jai Kisan is a powerful slogan given by Lal Bahadur Shastri. Jai Jawan Jai Kisan is a powerful slogan given by Lal Bahadur Shastri. 5. His slogan highlighted the importance of Indian soldiers and Indian farmers. His slogan highlighted the importance of Indian soldiers and Indian farmers. 6. Lal Bahadur Shastri breathed his last at Tashkent in 1966. 6. Lal Bahadur Shastri breathed his last at Tashkent in 1966. Next question. Explain work done by Indira Gandhi. Explain work done by Indira Gandhi. Answer. 1. Indira Gandhi became the first woman Prime Minister of India in 1966, succeeding Lal Bahadur Shastri. Indira Gandhi became the first woman Prime Minister of India in 1966, succeeding Lal Bahadur Shastri. 2. Her decision making ability was admirable and inspirational. Her decision making ability was admirable and inspirational. 3. Her decision regarding the nationalization of ba banks in cancelling pension of princess had far reaching effect. Her decision regarding the nationalization of banks in cancelling pension in princess had far-reaching effect. 4. During her tenure, Pakistan's oppressive policies in East Pakistan resulted in a big moment. During her tenure, Pakistan's oppressive policies in East Pakistan resulted in a big moment. 5. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his organization Mukti Bahini was leading this moment. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his organization Mukti Bahini was leading this moment. 6. This crisis in East Pakistan affected India as well because millions of refugees came to India. This crisis in East Pakistan affected India as well because millions of refugees came to India. Next question. Explain important events occurred in early of 1970s. Explain important events occurred in early of 1970s. Answer 1. The 1971 war between India and Pakistan led to the creation of an independent country called Bangladesh. 2. Indira Gandhi's role as a strong leader was as prominent in his, this issue. Indira Gandhi's role as a strong leader was a prominent in this issue. 3. As a part of India's policy to use atomic energy for Peaceful purposes. 4. India successfully carried out an underground test of atomic device at Pokhran in Rajasthan in 1974. India successfully carried out an underground test of atomic device at Pokhran in Rajasthan in 1974. 5. In 1975, the people of Sikkim voted for joining the Indian Republic. And Sikkim became a full-fledged state in the Indian Federation. In 1975, the people of Sikkim voted for joining the Indian Republic and Sikkim became a full-fledged state in the Indian Federation. Next question. 
डिस्क्राइब द स्टेबिलिटी इन पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशन डिस्क्राइब द स्टेबिलिटी इन पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशन एंसर वन द पॉलिटिकल सिचुएशन इन इंडिया गिव अनस्टेबल ड्यूरिंग दिस डेकेड नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एटी टू द अलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट गेव द जजमेंट इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर दैट द इंदिरा गांधी द देन प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड मिस यूज द गवर्नमेंट मशीनरी ड्यूरिंग हर इलेक्शन कैंपेन थ्री दिस लीड टू नेशन वाइड स्ट्राइक्स एंड प्रोटेस्ट दिस लीड टू नेशन वाइड स्ट्राइक्स एंड प्रोटेस्ट फोर जयप्रकाश नारायण हु वॉज लीडिंग दिस मूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड द सिचुएशन बिकम मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जयप्रकाश नारायण हु वॉज लीडिंग दिस मूवमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड द सिचुएशन बिकम मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फाइव द सिचुएशन ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन द कंट्री बिकेम वर्स्ट द सिचुएशन ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन द कंट्री बिकम वर्स्ट सिक्स The government declared a state of national emergency on the basis of constitutional provisionals related to emergency. Seven. During this unquiet period, the fundamental rights of Indian citizens were suspended. During this unquiet period, the fundamental rights of Indian citizens were suspended. Eight. Due to the emergency. the indian administration become disciplined due to this emergency the indian administration became disciplined nine but the human rights were restricted but the human rights were restricted 10 the period of national emergency lasted from 1975 to 1977 the period of national emergency lasted from 1975 to 1977 and after that general elections were conducted and after that general elections were conducted next question the morarji desai government lasted for short while give reason the morarji desai government lasted for short while give reason answer one on the backdrop of the emergency many opposition parties came together and formed the party called the janata party on the backdrop of the emergency many opposition parties came together and formed the party called janata party two newly formed janata party defeated the congress party led by indira gandhi newly formed janata party defeated the congress party led by indira gandhi three morarji desai became the prime minister from janata party morarji desai became the prime minister from janata party four due to the internal differences the party could not last long under the leadership of morarji desai due to the internal differences the party could not last long under the leadership of morarji desai five charan singh succeeded him charan singh succeeded him but even his government was short lived one six elections were held again in 1980 and the congress party under the leadership of indira gandhi came to power okay next question the army had to be sent into the golden temple in amritsar give reason the army had to be sent into the golden temple in amritsar give reason answer one the indian political system faced many challenges in his in this decade the indian political system faces many challenges in this decade two the six in punjab demanded independent state of khalistan the six in punjab demanded independent state of khalistan three the begin movement which went to went on to become violent and destructive the begin movement which went on to become violent and destructive four pakistan sent his support to this movement pakistan sent his support to this movement five the indian army was sent into the golden temple at amritsar of holy shrine of the six in 1984 six to dispose of uh, the terrorist who had allegedly taken shelter there 
वन ऑफ द बॉडी गार्ड्स इन इंदिरा गांधी पर्सनल सिक्योरिटी असैसिनेटेड हर सेवन वन ऑफ द बॉडी गार्ड्स इन इंदिरा गांधी पर्सनल असिस्टेंट सिक्योरिटी असैसिनेटेड हर एट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड यूनाइटेड लिबरेशन फ्रंट ऑफ असम उल्फा कैरिड अ मेजर मूवमेंट इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड यूनाइटेड लिबरेशन फ्रंट ऑफ असम कैरिड अ मेजर मूवमेंट इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन सिग्निफिकेंट वर्क डन बाय राजीव गांधी एक्सप्लेन सिग्निफिकेंट वर्क डन बाय राजीव गांधी आंसर वन राइट आफ्टर इंदिरा गांधी असैसिनेशन इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर राजीव गांधी बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया राइट आफ्टर इंदिरा गांधी असैसिनेशन इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर राजीव गांधी बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया टू राजीव गांधी ट्राई टू मेक वेरियस रिफॉर्म्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड दैट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी राजीव गांधी ट्राई टू मेक वेरियस रिफॉर्म्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड दैट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी थ्री सॉल्विंग ऑफ द इश्यूज ऑफ तमिल माइनॉरिटी इन श्रीलंका वॉज लीड बाय राजीव गांधी सॉल्विंग ऑफ द इश्यूज ऑफ तमिल माइनॉरिटी इन श्रीलंका वॉज लीड बाय राजीव गांधी फोर द प्रमोटेड ही प्रमोटेड द आइडिया ऑफ यूनाइटेड श्रीलंका विथ इंटरनल autonomy to the tamil community he promoted the idea of united sri lanka with internal autonomy to the tamil community five but his efforts in this regard proved to be in vain but his efforts in this regard proved to be in vain next question explain criticism of corruption occurred during rajiv gandhi tenure explain criticism of corruption occurred during rajiv gandhi tenure answer 1 rajiv gandhi faced a lot of criticism in the context of corruption that took place during a defense equipment deal during a defense equipment deal 2 especially the purchase of long range cannons from foreign company called bofors 3 in the general election that followed and congress party was thoroughly defeated because political corruption became a crucial issue in the general election that followed and congress party was thoroughly defeated because political corruption became a crucial issue or several parties came together and formed a coalition called the janata dal vishwanath pratap singh became the next prime minister of india five party emphasized reservation for backward classes obcs is considered to be the most vital contribution Six, Vishwanath Pratap Singh could not continue as a Prime Minister due to the internal differences in the party. Seven, Chandrasekhar became the Prime Minister of India. Chandrasekhar became the Prime Minister of India. His government was also short-lived. His government was also short-lived. Eight. In 1991, during the election campaign, the terrorist organization in Sri Lanka. Liberation Tigers of Tamil Nadu assassinated Rajiv Gandhi. Nine Rajiv Gandhi was acquitted from Bofors case by the court in 2004. Rajiv Gandhi was acquitted from Bofors case by the court in 2004. Next question. Explain the end of 1980s. Explain the end of 1980s. Answer. One. Nearly the end of the decade of 1980s the unrest in Jammu and Kashmir had begun the unrest in Jammu and Kashmir had begun two the complications grew seriously day by day and today it has taken the form of terrorism the complications grew seriously day by day and today it has taken the form of terrorism three the terrorist activities there forced kashmiri pandits to leave the valley the terrorist activities there forced kashmiri pandits to leave the valley four such how the 1980s was ended such how the 1980s was ended 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ वॉज नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन ईयर ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट चेंजेस इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड ऑफ इंडिया आंसर वन द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन इज सिग्निफिकेंट ईयर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ वर्ल्ड एज वेल एज इंडिया द ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन इज सिग्निफिकेंट ईयर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ वर्ल्ड एज वेल एज इंडिया टू द सोवियट यूनियन डिसइंटीग्रेटेड इन टू सेवल स्मॉल कंट्रीज एंड द कोल्ड वॉर केम टू एन एंड थ्री द गवर्नमेंट अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर पी वी नरसिंह राव इनवाइटेड इनिशिएटेड मेनी चेंजेस इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी पी वी नरसिंह राव इनिशिएटेड मेनी चेंजेस इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी फोर इन दिस पीरियड राम जन्मभूमि एंड बाबरी मास्क्यू इश्यू एट अयोध्या केम इन टू द फोर फ्रंट इन दिस पीरियड राम जन्मभूमि एंड बाबरी मास्क्यू इश्यू एट अयोध्या came into the forefront five elections conducted between 1996 and 1999 no political party got a clear majority in the lok sabha six these consequences in three governments in a short span of time these consequences in the three governments in short span of time seven दोज लीड बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एच डी देवेगौड़ा एंड इंद्र कुमार गुजराल वेर अमंग्स देम एट फाइनली इन 1999 नाइनटी नाइन द नेशनल डेमोक्रेटिक अलायंस केम इन टू पावर अंडर द फ्लैग ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी बिकम इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर नाइन अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ट्राई टू एस्टैब्लिश डायलॉग विथ पाकिस्तान बट was not successful atal bihari vajpayee tried to establish a dialogue with pakistan but was not successful 10 india conducted number of nuclear test in 1998 and declared herself as an atomic power india conducted number of nuclear test in 1998 and declared herself as an atomic power 11 in 1999 There was another war between India and Pakistan in Kargil region over the Kashmir issue. 1999, there was another war between India and Pakistan in Kargil region over the Kashmir issue. 12, India defeated Pakistan in this war as well. India defeated Pakistan in this war as well. Next question. The National Planning Commission was set up in India. the national planning commission was set up in india answer right from independence the modernization of economy economics self sufficiency and social justice has been the characteristics of indian economy two india wanted to adopt modernity and self reliance by establishing industries three he wanted we wanted to establish the economy based on social justice through planning four for this the national planning commission was established for this the national planning commission was established five this would be coordinate development through the policy of five years plan this would be coordinate development through the policy of five years plan six from 1991 The government of P. V. Narasimha Rao started economic reforms. Seven, these economic reforms are called as economic liberalisation. These economic reforms are called as economic liberalisation. Eight, the Indian economic flourished as a result of the implementation of this policy. Nine, the foreign investment in India increased. The foreign investment in India increased. skilled 10 skilled indian professionals helped to reform indian economy 11 several avenues of employment in the country opened in the field of information technology 12 the changes after 1991 are also described as globalization the changes after 1991 are also described as globalization next question Describe two major events took a revolution reforms. Describe two major events took a revolution reforms. 
answer one while describing india's efforts towards science two major events must be mentioned two dr m s swaminathan is known as the father of green revolution in 1965 dr m s swaminathan is known as the father of green revolution in 1965 three he implemented new scientific agricultural techniques he implemented new scientific agricultural techniques and increased the production of food grains four the experiment in cooperative dairy movement by dr vargis kurian led to increase of milk production in india this is called a white revolution this is called a white revolution next question explain the progress in the field of atomic energy a space programming answer 1 in the field of atomic energy and space research india has made significant progress 2 dr homi baba led foundation of the indian atomic power program 3 india insisted on using atomic energy for peaceful purposes like generation of electricity pharmaceuticals and defense 4 in space technology india has achieved remarkable success in space technology india has achieved remarkable success 5 in 1975 the first satellite aryabhatta was launched 6 today india has a successful space program and many satellites have been launched under this program 7 india has also made considerable advancement in the telecom sector india has also made considerable advancement in the telecom sector next question what are the major changes done in social fields what are the major changes done in social fields in this period there are various major changes in the social field in india few changes are related with the issue of empowerment of women three some others are related with the policies regarding uplift of the deprived section of the society four to promote the all round development of women and children a separate department of women and child development was created in 1985 under the ministry of human resources development five some essential laws were made to ensure social justice to women and to help the implementation of various schemes in the direction six it includes prohibition of dowry act equal remuneration act 7 as per the 73rd and 74th constitution amendments seats were reserved for women in the local self government bodies next question explain the policies of reservations answer 1 as per the makers of the constitution some constituents of the indian society were deprived of dignity and equal opportunities due to the caste system due to the caste system 2 The Kaka Sahib Kalelkar Commission was set up in 1953 to make recommendations so as to improve their condition. The Kaka Sahib Kalelkar Commission was set up in 1953 to make recommendations so as to improve their condition. 3. In 1978 under the chairmanship of BP Mandel a commission was constituted to study the issue of the other backward classes. 4. the policy of reservations was adopted in order to strengthen the rep- representation of backward sections in various sec- sectors and institutions 5 the government passed atrocities act in 1989 to enable those belonging to the scheduled caste and tribes to live with dignity and respect free from fear violence and oppression of the upper caste next question write a short note on globalization write a short note on globalization question 1 changes raised due to globalization answer due to the globalization there are many changes in several fields such as economy politics science and technology and society and culture 2 on the global scene in different spheres india has emerged as an important country 
on the global scene in different spheres india has emerged as an important country 3 india is an important member of international organizations like g20 and brics 4 in the field of telecommunication technology india has experienced a vital revolution in the field of telecommunication technology india has experienced a vital revolution 5 mobile phones internet and the communication facilities based on satellite have spread all across the country mobile phones internet and communication facilities based on satellite have spread all across the country 6 india has demonstrated to the world how a stable democracy can function successfully in the field of politics india has demonstrated to the world how a stable democracy can function successfully in the field of politics and here ends the question and answer session thank you students